I'm only 4'10", if you guys hadn't noticed. Hey, you, when you go to college, you get this letter in the mail with the contact information for your roommate. <clears throat> so I call her. She lives up in Gardner. And I say, oh, all right, so we're meeting this day. I'm like, what do you look like? I mean, what else are you supposed to ask, right? And she goes, oh, I'm about 6'3", tall and blonde. I'm thinking, okay, I'm the complete opposite you. I said, so just look down and I'll be the shortest girl. Um, and her name was Brandy. We're still friends to this day. Um, we keep in touch. We actually work at the same hospital. We both work at Maine Med. And I was very lucky. It was a pretty easy relationship. Uh, minus deciding, like, I got there the first day and she tried to put the microwave on top of the wardrobe. And I said, oh, you're going to cook my food for me for the rest of the year? Because if not, please put it down. That was really the only disagreement we had. We were very lucky. Um, we got along great. And it was, we were on the same schedule, and we were both in the nursing program, and UNE does um, try to put people in the same programs at that college because you're up so early that it's really not fair to, you know, some poor person who doesn't have to get up at 4 in the morning to listen to you getting up at 4 in the morning. Um, so that, I think, took a lot of the stress out of it. It was pretty cut and dry. We were doing the same things, same classes. But we had fun. It's very nice to have a roommate. And then after that, I never had a roommate because an RA. Another perk, if you're an RA, you get your own room. So I had my own room for the second year, which was really nice but kind of lonely. I really did sort of miss having Brandy around. <laughs>